Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now, if you look at the installation cost, you know, well, you had the installation of cutting in and putting flanges into the uh, the mag one that you want to put in. Correct. Which made it more expensive. That's it. That's it. The lot less right. did it, but if I do it in house, which I can, okay. there's no there's no overhead cost installation. But then we have to go back and modify it again. We go and change the pumps, right? There's no modification needed. It's just it's just a flange fitting, so it can be moved to any location. Let me see this. We'll follow. I got to clarify this. Are you deferring approval? No. I, what I want to go with right now is the pump parts you get the leaking taken care of. The purchase order for that one, which is the center pump. Correct. Right. And you get the purchase order, we'll go through that and get it done. And I only took it on to the drop, but I was looking for about one of those down here. I don't know, I wasn't there. I know you talked to uh, Tom. Oh, my God, that was it. All right. I come down on Friday. You came down on Saturday. I know. I said I can come down on Friday. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. What time? Uh, I'm up at 4 in the morning, so there's no difference. Well, no. You set the time, I'll be there. It's to 8 o'clock. To 11 o'clock. 11? Yep. Okay. And you're going to be reviewing... The flow meters, is that correct? The flow meter, right. Okay. And in principle, we've approved the cost of the Penn Valley replacement parts for that one pump, is that correct? Is in it a Penn Valley pump? Yeah, yeah it's a okay. Penn Valley. Okay. Have we agreed to yes. that? Yes. Yeah, that's okay. no. There's two Penn Valley in one that's approved. Yeah. Yeah. We've approved in principle by the parts for that one pump. Just need the purchase order. Oh, I'll have a purchase order. Oh. Good. Good. All right, well, you okay to sign one device as I get it? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, because we've agreed to it in principle. All right. Uh, are there new invoices or purchase orders? New ones? No. All right. Let's review the treasurer's report. You've got the treasurer's report in front of you, I assume. Okay. Yeah, these facts to be signed. I don't know if you're coming. Okay, we'll, we'll get them. Okay. I just want to know if these guys need a copy of this. Huh? I didn't. I didn't print this one yet because the other one was printing out. I go to print it. There's so many pieces of paper. I'm going to do this. Here, you can borrow mine for now. You can borrow mine. Just write it. Okay. You. You were asking about chemicals, right, Clem? You were asking about chemicals, the cost of chemicals? No. At one time? Okay. No, but I remember. All right, all right. Well, we'll find out. If you may recall, at our last meeting, there was a discussion about if something's a consumable, but it's more than $100, should there be a purchase order? Yeah, then the chemicals that you know need like the regular routine. I'm coming into that. We're talking about the stuff that had to do with the lab and stuff like that. Okay. Right. We had a specific list we were referring to at the time. Okay. He said he went for water, went for sore. Okay. That's what we were talking to. Okay. All right. Anyway. We're at 67 percent of the year, and water is at 65 percent, and sewer is at 72 percent. But we have a capital investment we're anticipating here of about ten thousand dollars, which actually belongs to the water. So it hasn't arrived yet. But it will arrive. It's October. The the ten thousand dollars for. I think so. I don't remember. Yeah, the exact number doesn't matter so much. But otherwise, we're tracking pretty well. Our cash balances are good. All right. Do you have any questions about finance? Really, I want to see the finance report. Is the uh, 
reference to the New Hampshire Public Investment Advisory Pool. Yes. Yep, that's on the top sheet. It's the bottom number. Yeah. Actually, we have more than lighting. Yeah. That has been broken down into water and wisdom. What? But I thought that hadn't yet been broken down. I thought you guys were in the process yeah, of figuring well, that out. We've been talking about it. Okay. We'll probably get some input. The best thing we can figure out so far at this point in time, the only thing we will do is go back to when the two groups came together. We had quite a few sewer accounts. We had liens on property at the time. And once water came in, we were short for water, and, we, and they therefore collect the accounts, which amounted to quite a chunk of change. I'm not the expert. I wasn't here at the time. I was on the other side before the transition took place. But uh, Madame Sainte might be able to clarify some of that for us. I um, whoever was treasurer at the time did not um, list everything specifically. But um, when they combined, they took all the money from the water savings accounts put it in that account, which all the money from the sewer savings accounts, put it in there, plus the hundred and some odd thousand we got when we shut off downtown. Um, the guy who owned downtown only paid his water bills, he wouldn't pay sewer. So once we combined, we turned off all downtown, and we got like a hundred and thirty and forty thousand dollars from him. So all that money was put in there, so the, um, a treasurer later on, we tried to backtrack, and as far back as we could figure, about a third of it, if that is water and the rest of it sewer. At least $200,000 or more is sewer, and the rest is water. Historically speaking. Would you like to make a motion to uh, support the account? Yes, I would. That's a move. That we create two accounts, one for water and one sewer, because water and sewer funds are not supposed to be mingled, period. Okay. All you got to do is go to the NIDIP, open another account to transfer. So we're we going on either one third said. or two thirds into that account and just label it. If it's the one third, it's water, and leave the rest alone because we're not always sewer by default. The process. Make sure the wood water or waste water applies to the accounts. I don't know. So we don't need any more to go on than just the memory. I mean, no offense to Gail, but I mean, you don't need anything. Well, that's the best we've got. I know that we were behind. I can tell you specifically what it was. I mentioned names. I don't know if we could do that. It's quite nice. There's no one here. But he, he lost all his apartments downtown at the time because the backlog that he had. He tried to make a deal, pay so much of a dollar. He couldn't do that because it wasn't right for the other people who paid him for that price. So, you know, we took means of this property, we took means of other properties in town at the same time. And when we got control of the water, after I left, the two combined, they were able to do something to correct the issue. By shutting off the water, they employed the new animal practices. So that's the best. She was here at the time, I wasn't. I was up to that point, and then I left. I mean, it functionally makes no difference because it's still for the same purpose, which is for catastrophic purposes, which was the original purpose of the account. So you can have plenty of accounts, so it wouldn't matter. But I think you can change the caption on the account. I've never done it. As you administer it as treasurer. Can't you get that verified by the state reports that get filed every single year? Either getting it by the state or looking in the annual reports and getting an accurate number. I don't think just arbitrarily giving a number and putting it in each account is an appropriate way to handle it. You have the records in the annual reports. Are you done? I am. Okay, now I can move on. What we give are balances, okay? So at the end of the year, it's this is the balance. Mm -hmm. It doesn't show individual transactions throughout the year in the state reports. 
It doesn't show, for instance, that water cashed out in $2,000 savings account or sewer put in $75,000 from another account. It doesn't show that level of transaction. It just shows balance. And that's what you want, isn't it? It's the balance in each one of the accounts? No, there's only one account. Before? The, before they, before they were separated? When. They were all over the place. They were all over the place. Okay. We're talking about 40 years ago. The annual reports go back a whole lot longer than that. I'm just saying that documentation is available. I talked to Tom, the auditor, and whatnot. He mm -hmm. said it's a way to get back home. He said, no, I can't break it down. I can't find it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have the history. According to the auditor, he didn't care how much was water and how much was sewer. We were a combined account, so it was all combined, and it didn't need to be broken down. So whoever the treasurer was at the time, and I can't even remember what it was then, um, when she, instead of keeping track of everything that went into that account, she didn't, or he didn't, whoever it was. So we tried to backtrack with most of the accounts, but the accounts were closed, the bank was closed, but, yeah. Probably Seacoast, was it mm. like the Seacoast Savings Bank at the time? They went through national banks, Seacoast oh, Bank, they were all different. And then a bank would close and then trying to find records. We nice. went back as far, we tried as much as we could and that was the best we could do. So. Well, we're lucky we at least have you because it points in some direction. We appreciate your insight on that. I'm not sure how you correct 40 years worth of mistake. Just straighten it out. 40. It's only That's what I said, 40. Oh, 40. Review and disposition of pending purchase orders. And I think we've already done this but with the um, issue of the flow meter and the repair parts for the Penn Valley Fund. Are we not? We've verbally given you authorization for the Penn Valley Pump repair parts. Yes. Verbally. And you'll follow it up with a written purchase order, which will be approved. And then Friday, Clem will come down and talk to you about the flow meter. Correct. And go from there. At 11 o'clock. Right. 11 o'clock. Okay. Take care of those. Uh, sure. Yes. I'd like to. Yes. We're going to sign checks now. We pause. No, no, he can just sign. No, he can
time you send them out the certified letter? It's 15 days, yeah. 15 days. Okay, well, it's what, September 5th will be the magic day? Yeah, and but we'll give them an extra day. The one for um, account 354, KAB Realty, we've got to take copies of the shutoff notice and put them on every tenant's door. Because if they don't and they try to turn the water and it doesn't happen, um, they will be absolutely ballistic. Just the nature. If any of these others have rentals, they too must, I don't believe they are. I think they're all single family residences. Okay? So make a copy of the shut up notice. That's going to get pasted on someone's door. It's, it's a good idea to use painter's tape, the stuff, the blue painter's tape, so nobody can say you ruined their wood. Yes, not on the front door I should go in the building, but on the tenant's door. Okay. Now, here's the other thing we should also take. Yeah, we can't say of the selectmen, the, the town's attorney, Steve Roberts, sent our attorney a letter. And in it, one par salient paragraph comes on and says, and I quote, it is my understanding that the commissioners have admitted to touring, that word touring, the district facilities without posting that tour as a meeting. As you know, RSA 91A has a very broad definition of meeting. And whenever two or more, here they are, <laughs> members of an elected body are together, it is likely that a meeting as defined under RSA 91A has occurred. Can I clarify that? No. We're not holding our meeting. That's the difference. No, you're together. That's the problem. We're not discussing. No, no. We're not discussing. We are not having a meeting. You're you were now. having a meeting with me. Oh, with you. Let oh, me you. finish. On January 19, 2019, the selectmen did a tour of the facilities of the fire station without posting it as a meeting. It was posted. On May 14, 2019, they did a tour of the fire department without posting it All as were a tour. Posted. All were posted. All were posted. And All therefore, were posted. Hey. All were posted. Why, it's not why don't don't say something you don't know. Excuse me, sir. They're hey. talking. Let's have some politeness, okay, please. Well, I was talking first. Wait, wait, wait. No. I'm calling for order. I'm calling for order. Or this. I just want to point out one thing. People are throwing around accusations. And accusations often don't get substantiated. And what I'm trying to say here is, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stuff. I have no problem. Point of That's order. all I have to say. Point of order. That's not an appropriate comment to make at this meeting. The commissioners determine what's appropriate. Well, let me tell you that I Negative. have nothing to hide. People I'm have rights like you have a right. Every one that we have. I'm surprised these people sit here and listen to you. Because you don't know how to hold a, a meeting. Me. What, what is your name? I'm Henry. Henry. Henry the Eighth. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> you know, the thing is, I bet, I, I, this is the first time here. I'm surprised these people are sitting here because I would laugh at you. But I won't because you're not worth the laugh. This is no meeting. You started off wrong. First of all, if none of these guys were at the meetings from before the last meeting, how do you move on? You can't. 
Did you read the minutes from the last meetings? Let's move on. Anybody else? Yes, I was. Um, a couple things. First, I was wondering if you got my email about that budget overage for so all the documentation to support that. Nobody responded to me, so I wanted to make sure you got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, are we going to discuss that? Not tonight. When will we be discussing that? Because I would like to be able to share all the information with people. Probably at some very distant future date. Why is that? And what, because it's currently under review by DRA. Is it? Yep. Okay. It's in review well, status. Okay. Well, I've spoken to Michelle Clark a few times about it, um, so that's fine. I feel good about that. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was, so at the last meeting, you made your presentation, and then you were talking about the water quality being fine. It's fine to drink. No. I didn't say it was fine. I said it was safe. It was safe. Yeah, sorry. Excuse me. You said it was safe, and I don't disagree with you on that as far as the district as a whole, the distribution system as a whole, but on Willie Street, I do disagree with you. And I've looked up a ton of studies, and I'll email all of them to you guys tonight. I just didn't want to print them all out. But to talk about elevated iron levels in the water, and um, I know that iron in and of itself might not be problematic, but it's often observed with high lead levels. It also reacts with the chlorine, so the chlorine can't work for its disinfection purposes. So they've seen E. coli outbreaks when you have high lead levels. There's been Legionella outbreaks due to the high lead levels. So I'm just saying that I don't think we can just say with certainty it's safe to drink on Willie Street when we haven't done the sampling there. And personally, I think that we should be doing sampling right there on Willie Street, the Willie Street, to be able to. Aren't we coming up on a Lead copper test? Are we coming up on one? Yeah. yeah. The best okay. Don't know, I mean. That would be yeah. the good time to test. Okay. Right? So are you saying that should be one of the sampling sites? I get a question to Raymond. How many houses yes, are included in the Willie Street on that sampling? Zero. Ooh. Why? None ever included? Why? Since 2017, nothing? Mm -hmm. Well, the school is on that. And the school got back results, and they had some really high results recently this but summer. But they're on a local so street. Test it. No, the school pulls off of the Willie Street. Okay. Well, but also, Cindy Coven said multiple <coughs> times their major um, gauge of water quality, too, has to do with the bacterial sampling. So E. coli and total coliform, would you, could you do those types of sampling on Willie Street to ensure that their water is safe, I'm given not, the high iron? I'm not exactly sure how the sampling is done precisely. I know there are random sites throughout town that are they do done it at proper the, lead. I think the the town hall. What Allison's recommending is that we do a subsidiary sampling process just on Willie Street to check E. coli at their faucets. I think, I think if, if, if Yeah, I think so that that would be Outside of what we're already doing for sampling, right. it would be a general system analysis to see if the water quality at the tap um, does meet the standards. I, it's a marginal cost. It's not that much. I don't see why not. Okay. But if it comes out safe. Well, I hope it does. I'm not saying it because I don't want it to. I'm saying I think that we owe it to them at least that okay, to so be able to prove quantitatively say. We agree we're going to say I think it's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. So we agree. We think it's a good idea. We agree on something. Um, okay, and then the last thing too. Mark your calendar. It may not happen again. It probably long. won't. <laughs> so is that agreement authorization to go ahead and do that sampling test? We're going to expand it. There, there's okay, there's a standardized you. sampling that's randomized, and we want to make sure that we have at least some testing done on Willie Street. Okay. In addition, to, because of marginal costs. Is, is so in area. addition to the lead and copper, also the E. coli? Yeah, but the E. coli is easy. There's, there's only about six houses on that street. There are. And have, have, they each get a bottle. How much could that cost us? For E. coli, not much. For lead and copper, it can. Well, the only reason I would suggest the same thing to every house because you go one side of the street, you get complaints that differ on the other side of the street. Right. Get everybody so let's get, let's get the samples from all houses and find out what the differences are, if there are any. It'll, it'll all so we know. On the Willie street. What I'm hearing is I can pass out lead and copper sample bottles and also E. coli sample bottles, bacteria bottles. I, 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 yeah, I would say yeah. so, yes. Okay. I would agree. Not two out of three.
and, and we go a step further and sort of semi-supervise how the sampling is taken because we know in the past we got hit with a boil order because somebody didn't wash their hands. Is there any? So this is all going to be done under the general system analysis. It's not going to be done as, a, it, it's just for uh, evaluation purposes. Yes. Well, if it comes up E. coli, we'd be facing a boil order. Well, yeah, not we exactly. don't want But the goal is that we're not going to see that. Um, I'm, I'm fairly confident we won't because I know what the, the chlorine residuals that are each home have, but I think it's uh, I think it would be a good step to, to get some confidence from the customers on what we're I think that's a good idea. Okay. No objection. I'm just generally suggesting. Any, any other comments? I have another piece to mind. Sorry, excuse me. You're um, going to have to share. It's Carolyn wants okay. to speak. But yes, Carolyn. At, at the last meeting, you had a presentation about the needs of, um, for infrastructure improvements in the district and the limitations for borrowing and the current debt structure of the district. Um, acknowledging that there are needs for infrastructure improvements and the current state of finances of the district, I'm wondering, A, when are rate, rates going to go up since regardless of how it's financed or not financed, you're going to need more money, and B, whether or not the commissioners are seeking state aid because there are a number of state funding yes. sources that could be helpful for these projects. We're, I, I talked with USDA today about planning and planning and something or other grants. Um, I, can't, I talked to so many people today. Um, there are planning and implementation grants, I believe, from USDA, and we're going to put in a request for that, which is a grant, not a loan. Do you have any indication of how much money that might be for, or what the scope of a project might be that it might cover? They, they won't know how much is available until October for grants. And it, and it is for infrastructure? Yeah, it's for infrastructure planning and design. Those are grants. So if, if I could understand from the superintendent, don't we have the design and all the engineering work right, done? <coughs> don't have a design. Here. We have a sort of a concept. You have a concept that's given out that says, this is what we have to do based on certain information that we're given. Now we have to come up with a drawing that shows okay. the pipe that's going to the ground. Not to meet the requirements to, for the funding and bonding we're going to we can't bond, can we? Yeah. What, 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 I, I, what do you mean we can't bond? We, oh, I thought we well, The limitations of your debt we're that you borrow can borrow. That's what we're going to borrow. Yeah. But the thing is, you need a drawing so you'll be able to get the funding and do what you've got to do. Right. Okay. So that's going to be an additional cost besides the actual work. Yeah. You got it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, do you have any comment about the rates to fund any of the new projects? Can it go up? Like That's by, a how much and when, by how much and when? Well, we have no idea. First, we have to get everything together and find out how much we've got to spend. I mean, what are our projects? Plus, what's our operating budget? And that will determine how much the rate will be. It's just like how you assess taxes. You build a budget, and then you say, this is your share of the taxes. Well, we're trying to do budgets for the entire town, so we need to know what we have to pay the water district in our budgets. That's one of the problems. I know. Okay. Yes, Angela. Thank you very much. First, I want to thank you for the informative presentation you did two weeks ago. It was really helpful in understanding the overall picture. And uh, I want to also mention before I hand you the signatures of 75 members and customers of the Water Sewer District. I want to mention that I live on the opposite end of Locust Street from where the school is, and I have begun to notice a strong odor of what Liz Morganelli descri described as the scent of blood in her water. I've noticed a sort of a scent of that, but I think it's iron. I think what she's describing is the smell of iron. And I just want to say that it's not constant in every day, but periodically the odor in my water is um, strong, stronger than uh, usual. And I, I, I'm not looking for a solution. I'm just adding some information to you. Is your, it usually in the morning? I, you know, I don't know. I, I, when I wash the, I notice after I use the dishwasher or the washing machine, 
the odor in the dishwasher or the washing machine is stronger than um, coming out of the tap. So, I, you know, I don't, I'm not asking for a solution here. I'm just noticing that I have that odor problem happening at the opposite end of that line. If you can notice when during the day it occurs. I will. Um, I usually don't wash my dishes until the end of the day, but if that's any help. So I have a petition that has been signed by 75 um, members of the district, and it is a, um, I think it's sort of a segue from what uh, Ms. Kendall was talking about. Because you're doing some, you're taking some of the steps that have been requested in this petition. The request to submit something by, um, September 13th to Rural Development, the Rural Development Water Program, USDA. This is USDA. You're already speaking with them, and I think that application might be due by the 13th. I might be no. wrong. But there are several agencies that we can communicate with over the course of the next year to try to get some assistance. In addition to that, this petition requests that the commissioners seek a survey of the income within the district so that we may qualify for loan forgiveness, principal forgiveness, for example. We may. I think we cannot assume that we won't until we take some of these steps. We're making assumptions about what might be available to us through state agencies. And as rate payers, we would like to see that in the event that we could have principal forgiveness, just for example, and lower interest rates. So, uh, and I, we also are requesting that you request that engineering report from Wright Pierce. But I think from what you just said, it, the planning and implementation or the planning and design process that might get funded through USDA would be to look at that engineering study for what needs it to be, be done. We're study. consistent there. We're consistent. It would be actual drawings we we'll are looking for to implement the solution. That's great. Well, um, it's consistent with um, the request we're making. So it's good to hear some progress being made in that direction. The other two things on this are instrumentation at the Porter Well so it can be used seven days a week and reduce um, the, um, I think it's arsenic that happens if you use it periodically, sporadically. So uh, that's a request as well as um, the discharge of um, flushing the hydrants at Willie Street, doing something about that. So I wanted to provide you with these petitions and to thank you for um, the information you brought to us two weeks ago. It was really helpful. Thank you. I, I think you even concede that we're doing some of these things in advance of. Well, I, yeah, we're I'm not that. conceding. I'm appreciating. You know, please, please understand. We're not here to attack you. We appreciate the steps you're taking to um, benefit the the members of this district who drink this water, including yourselves. Right. Any other comments? Okay, now it's your turn again. Okay. Um, so back to the iron in the water. Um, in the corrosion control, corrosion control study that had already been done, they found that having a stable water quality was the best, worked the best for Willie Street. So running the wells both all the time. Could, there, there's less iron release when you have a stable water quality. So this is going in line again with the automation of Porter Well, why it was on as a Warren article item previously. So mm -hmm. I just want to put another plug for getting that one done as soon as possible because I think obviously the Willie Street pipe isn't going to get replaced in that short of term given all the other steps. But it seems as though if you could at least move on the automation of Porter Well, that would help. We're talking about Ray prior to my becoming a commissioner back in April. We are talking about flushing down and I mentioned the water going with the screen. And he says it's only temporary. But he says, and he says the hydrant was done, it was temporary. I said, well, when do you plan to do it? He said 2020. So this is in line with what's going on right now at this point in time. Well, what I'm talking about isn't that same thing, I don't believe, but. But getting to your port well, that's what there's I'm a certain about. amount of money that's been voted on approved. But we are receiving from Ray what he wants to do with the money, what the money was put in there for. You know, it's a communications thing. Nothing was told about the money was put in the quarter or for the other one. The only thing we were shown was what Wright Pierce gave us for the presentation. We can't do all that. We don't have the money for that. It wasn't in that budget to begin with. It was with. written as a but Warren article to be paid by the ratepayers by a, a rate increase. Wait a minute. You were 
$30,000 and I forgot how much was the other one. 17. What, well, whatever. It's okay. fine. But we have to know what we're paying for. We haven't been told what that money was well, for the budget. Well, should you maybe request it, the information? We, you he's could, been, you could ask waiting him. for him to tell us. It's called communications. We haven't had that information at all. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, maybe we can use this moment to say that process? everybody wants the information. Were you part of the budget process? She was part of that budget process. Then you know what it was for? Well, I'm not a wrong person to ask about all the details, obviously. I'm not the... Well, that's, the, what, we're the that's what we're saying. Details. Okay, well, he's the new, right there. The new so. person came on board. Nobody took the time to run through the whole budget, what was going on. We offered so many times. I know you weren't there right in the beginning. They wouldn't listen to us. And you know that's true. I can find the emails, and I've said it ten times. We would love to talk through it. We're we're looking for an engineering study that says we're going to do this and this and this. And these well, then are the make that request. And these are the we equipment. need to get that done. We've got an engineering study that says that. Now, does the and, money that's appropriated for Portal Well will take care of a skater system right now? But would you have in there? No, it does not. What would a skater system cost? I couldn't tell you that off the top of my head. But what we're talking about right now is the instrumentation and the PLC upgrade to Porter Well so that it can accept the, the communication into the system. Okay, so that was all laid out in um, the, prior, the priority, priority list that I gave you. It's detailed down to every instrument that we want to put in up there and the reason we want it. Are you talking about that thing John Jackman put together? No, mm -hmm. um, I mean, Vern, I'm talking about the priority list that Bob requested from me that I gave to you guys within the third week of August for all the weeks. I didn't see that. I didn't what, see that. Yeah. It was at a no. meeting. He gave binders. you the whole binders. packet or in binders, and then John Jackman gave me a list of items back. he wanted to purchase. That's not a point no, no, true. I gave you a priority true. list. Was that the that your binder meeting? No, that was the one. That was the binder with handed out? Yes, I believe that was that meeting. It was in that other room, the meeting that was held in the other room. Go pull out your binders and take a look. Clem wasn't a commissioner I, I, yet, I, I, so he I, I, might I not have had it. Night. Okay, I remember a binder being handed out. I haven't seen it. Let me take a look at it. See what and then I have one one last oh. thing. It's not. A, <laughs> sorry. You never respond to my emails. It's my one chance to actually get an answer. Um, we want to hear you. Oh, thank you. So when you go to do the pipe in Willie Street or you're pulling together all the information, will you be evaluating and researching all the different types of pipes? PVC versus all the other materials. I don't know all the various types of pipe one could get, but I know right here said that if you use PVC, that would reduce the cost dramatically, and I know Bob kind of latched onto that one right away, but I want to see some actual research. PVC reduces the cost of the pipe. Right. It doesn't reduce the cost of digging up the road, <laughs> I pulling out the old that. pipe, putting in new service entrances. We, I personally, I, I am biased toward PVC or HDPE. Okay, but are you going to have do research or have others do research about the materials being used and their appropriateness well, on that street and the conditions and all that. All of this will be discussed with the engineering company is going to work for the installation. Okay, but and right. will there and be and more considerations than just cost? Because uh, is PVC, well, the, is it the, the right choice? The other part to take into consideration is that the state's going to have to approve the That's application, right? right? So given the fact that we have multiple different materials in the ground already, there's a good likelihood that they're not going to approve enough for to be HDP uh, for plastic piping. So it, just keep that in mind. I know you're you would prefer to see that burn, but that might not be the direction the state wants to, to see the community go. We'll explore that when the time comes. The new pipe now comes through line, doesn't it? Pre line? Yeah. Mostly through yeah. Yeah, okay. That well, was the, the type problem. of line you covered the commission. That does not provide to me the items that we're looking for that are in the budget with the thirty thousand dollars in appropriate for. That's what I want to find out. It does have it in there. Make a list out the shows individually which ones they have which one you can't do all of these all at once. There's each each project's listed in there individually fund. I'm asking you Tell me what you actually plan on going with thirty thousand dollars. Flip to the page of the portal well and it's going to show you a here. complete cost breakdown. It's right there. 
You want me to break it down for you? You don't have to. It's right there in front of you. There's, there's a page that says Porter Well Warrant Article. Oh, okay, this obviously is homework for yep. one. Any other subject that people want to talk about? Yes, Frank. When are you planning to do the $1,700 upgrade, the, the $30,000 upgrade, and the $50,000 upgrade that were all approved in 2018 for 2019? Okay. Let's, let's make sure we understand the term for it. We were authorized. That's the first thing. Second thing, when we have sufficient information and we are satisfied that it's been thoroughly vetted and thoroughly re sufficiently researched so we know we're spending, getting the best bang for the buck. Okay, I just want to go on record for saying it looks like you're kicking the bucket down the road because the information was there, the information was at last year's meeting, and it was passed. And if, if you had been willing to meet with myself and Ray, it would have been a nice transition and a lot of discussion. That didn't happen. So here we are, halfway through the year. Are you going to do any of these projects this year? That's my question. Possibly, Are yes. your intentions to do that? I sent an email to the engineering firm asking if they would do a drawing for the, the uh, pump. Uh, yeah, down. And I sent an email to them asking them to give me engineering specs on port of wells. We're and looking at it, and I'm waiting for a response. The reason why I want the drawings out because it's not just now. It's a piece of equipment that's going to be there for years after we're gone. And people have to look at what's down there. All right? The drawing is specified material, type of, of appliance, everything that you want to know about what's down there. And if we do something without a record, we save money, but the long run is going to cost us money. So I want a drawing for anything that we do at the plant so it becomes a permanent record. I also want a digital copy. Put up on the screen so we can talk about it as a group if you want to. Yes, so people find what they're looking for. At the next meeting, can I bring this drawing that you're requesting in a digital format? The engineering. Not, not the drawing that you had at the plant. That is, not a, that is not a drawing. Why is that not a drawing? It's a con concept. It's not it, a concept. It, as I told you in my email, it provides no list of material, no tolerances. None of that's in there. Yeah, but this is one cut sheet of. It does not tell the complete story. It's not a drawing per se. It is it, the drawing has full detail in terms it of. It does not have full detail. I'm not sure what kind of drawings you're used to working with, but detailed drawings I work with have a lot more of what you've got in your eyes. There may be more, and we just haven't seen. Is there another subject area someone would like to talk about? By the way, I stand corrected on this. You're right. It's the what? Excuse me. Did you answer when you're planning to do that? As soon as possible. If we sign a contract December 31st, we can bind that money over to 2005. So you're kicking the bucket down the hill until 2000? No. No, we want documentation. Shooting the hip does not cut it. And this is this is public domain stuff. I mean, it's not it's not something you can do at your own home. You can do whatever you want. We want to leave something behind so people know what's going on. We have a hard time finding things down there now because people, different superintendents come in, do different things. Records disappear. We want to do something that's there so people have a reference. It's foolish to work the way we are. It's dumb. Well, any other thoughts? I agree. <laughs> and you can go on to our Google Drive and you can see all of the information that's been stored since I've come on That board. reminds me. I can't follow the URL to get to your state reports. Excuse me? You know the state reports? Yeah. The bench sheets that you have? Mm -hmm. The URL is invalid now. Okay. Can you send another share? Sure. And yeah. Thank you. Oh, I guess you're talking about SCADA. PLC updates, $15,000. Mm -hmm. That's part of the $30,000. That's what I asked you. Right. SCADA is part of it. It's not. It's it's getting the system ready to accept SCADA. Okay. Then I haven't seen any purchase orders for any of this stuff. For nothing. Are, are you asking me to, to move forward on this? You guys have told me that we're not moving on these foreign articles. Is that true? No. We're looking for engineers. We're looking for designs. Mm -hmm. Design specs. 
There's no design, so you can mention that yourself. It's a generalized thing. Of, it's not a generalized thing. thing. It's kind of like I'm you know, actually it's taking offense to that comment. Okay, it's not a generalized thing, guys. I've been in this industry for over 10 years, and actually those, those in-house recommendations come from a, actually a professional in this industry, which is myself, that has all, not only does, do I have a water and a wastewater license, but I'm a master electrician. So this comment that keeps being made about we need engineering specs, if you want to just continue wasting money, you can call your engineer friends and you can continue spending that money, but if you would just take a second to look at what I'm presenting, you'll understand that I can give probably a better product than your engineers are going to come up with because they don't know our system the same way I do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Anything else? What concrete steps are the board going to take in the next two weeks towards completing this and getting so-called more information? I'm sorry. What are you going to do in the next two weeks? Who are you going to call? Who are you going to email I'm on behalf of the district? For what? For months. the purpose of this upgrade that we're asking about that you keep saying you we have information? We, we've contacted uh, Wright Pierce within the last couple of days. I've repeated my request to them this morning or yesterday morning. And I'm waiting. And if we don't get a response of some sort, we're going to look at other engineering firms. How much is that going to cost? It should be absorbed into the cost of the upgrade. When was that authorized? Well, it's not going to be absorbed in the authorized. cost of the upgrade because it's not authorized? considered in the cost of the upgrade. I'm sorry? This expenditure that you're saying that you're going to pay the engineering firm, when did you vote on that? When we have the... Op we have discretion, broad discretion, to spend the budget as necessary as long as it's an authorized item. Is it public that you're spending this money? It will always be public. Okay, could you in the future, when you're making these uh, contacts, things regarding the town that should be public, add it to the agenda so that it comes up and not just when we start asking questions? Uh, if if well, we're just exploring information, I mean, I, I, do you really want to know that yes. I've got to wait yeah. for Absolutely. Mark we've been, to call we've me been back? begging for information now for six months. Six months? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been begging for We would like all the information, please. We can give you as much as Excuse we can. Excuse me, sir. Let's show some respect. You don't go, is something wrong with you? Show me some respect to these people. All you do is laugh at these people. What is wrong? Listen to what they're trying to tell you. Nobody hates you, but you hate okay. yourself. Okay. Right, right. Okay. Damn, you could need some help, sir. Anything else? Oh, come on it's, now. It's, it's, it's on a different subject. At the last meeting, Jessica yes. had asked, oh. Uh, just Sorry. have a question. What is the, where's the $19,000 in legal fees? What's that for? Is that for? Can't tell you. Huh? Can't tell you. Is it for engineering stuff, I permits, can't. or personnel? It is the relationship between the commissioners and their attorney is confidential. Okay. Do you think that's excessive? I think we spent a lot more than we should have, but I can't comment on where I thought it was. Are you guys going to cap that figure, or? None of the due diligence to what was going on. So we could cap careful. So you guys promised fiscal responsibility when you got in. I'm not seeing it. Well, well, we have no control over the lawyer aspects. Well, you know, a lot of it has to do with the happen. actions of the board that's causing these motions to take. start. We, we would dearly love to tell you, believe me, in excruciating detail, but we can't. Because RSA 41 says it's confidential. Oh, I'd just rather see my money spent on improvements, not... So we would too. We, we, we would too. We're right with you on that. Absolutely. We're not alone in that respect. But Did you write confidentiality when you brought up the letter from one board to another to their lawyers? No, because I didn't read the entire letter, and it's your, the town's letter. Ours was done in non-public. Good for you. So you broke confidentiality of two lawyers? No, I didn't. Uh, mm -hmm. I did. Nobody can have that letter except me. But you brought it up in the intent of what it was saying in the letter. 
I this quoted hand. from it. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. But I didn't Thank quote you. the entire body. You didn't have to. You just brought it up. You just you just are contradicting what you're telling these gentlemen, these people here that you can't talk about anything that has to do with legal. Okay. And this did. You can choose. No, I can talk just about making somebody my else's point. legal problems. Just making my point. In terms of legal, what I think I know the answer to my question, but I will ask it. What was budgeted under water and under sewer in each category for legal fees? Uh, I think I remember from the annual meeting that it was a thousand dollars on the water side and a thousand dollars on the sewer side. Mm -hmm. well, it was probably 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 so it's about probably two thousand. Probably in that range, yes. So. 18 or 20,000 against 2,000 is a lot to make up for in a, in a tight budget. Yes. So I think it, it, it just, as a member of the budget committee, I'd be curious about where this is headed and how that's going to be compensated for in the budget. And, and you know, again, it's not a, nothing, it's nothing I need an answer for now, but something I've been, that's been on my mind. Sorry. One last thing. Okay, Frank. So, with respect to what was done last year with the water systems, a lot, a lot was looked at with the water systems because we had so many problems. I know we had a, um, a visit with the state. What did the state say about what we've done so far with the water systems? It's, an, it's improved. Okay. And that was done in-house with, with the new superintendent, right? Was well, I believe part of the, uh, the direction of Ray Pierce, but okay. Ray Pierce and the... Mr. Superintendent, right. Now you've got that $50,000 job that needs to be done downstairs in the, in the sewer system, and that's Ray's forte. Uh -huh. He's got all this experience there. He's trying to cut to the chase and not spend $150,000, but spend $50,000 by not involving the engineer. Right? Like, like, like designing that, it himself that, that, and that's his having, yeah. having help with the engineering group. Why are you so against letting that happen? I, why? Because it's undocumented work. It's a capital improvement with nothing to back it up other than this is what I want to do, and that's it. List of components, a drawing. A drawing amounts to nothing. A, a single no detail in a drawing at all. Why won't? Why wouldn't you sit down with Ray and work it out so that you would get no, the detail I, that you need? I'm not looking at Ray or you or anybody else. I'm looking at what's happening in the long run with the treatment plan. We've got to make some changes on it. There are tech manuals that come in with the, with the pumps. I want to see those as well. I want to have all that information available for future people to come in behind us and know what's going on, especially the commissioners as well as the operators. So the information is available. So the mess be, that, it doesn't become a one-man show. So the mess that you have right now, though, was put together by an engineering firm, right? Was it put together by an engineering firm? Yep. Yep. <laughs> was it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you know the pump station that got screwed up that didn't have the backup system that it needed? It was done by an engineering system group, too. Which engineering firm are you referring Same to? Same one. The one that you want to use now. The engineering firm made up a drawing. The drawing doesn't even have an engineering signature on it. All right? Why don't, it does you, not, it does why not don't you work with Ray to come up? With all we turn around and work it out, we talk to Wright Pierce, we'll talk to Wright Pierce some more, and so we get the drawing to do what we need down there. Okay? So you're going to talk with Wright Pierce, not with Hoyer Ray, Taylor? Ray, in my email, I told Wright Pierce I'll be glad to talk with them and with Ray at the same time. That would be movement in the right direction. I said that already, and we're going around and around and around here right now. It's ridiculous. But I do not want anything undocumented because it's public property. It's not your own personal property. And I think you need the tools to work with for somebody to come down behind you. That's what I'm looking at. That's the only reason why you run document documentation with the trying to do that. I just want to clarify. We need to bring this particular conversation to what you're Why? I would like to clarify about the drawing that we're talking about. The drawing that was produced came from the 3D imaging that was done when we had the asset management grant done for our water side. There was extra hours available, so they allowed him to go down at no cost because he was already paid for the day. And he came out and he did all the 3D imaging of the wastewater treatment facility. When he did that, he was able to send those images to Wright Pierce. They were able to 
upload that into CAD, and that drawing that you have is to scale to the centimeter to make sure that those pumps would fit. So I'm not sure why you're saying that they do not have detail. I understand it doesn't have a parts list. It does list out every part there. It just doesn't have a name to every part. I'm working on that list for you. I'll have it in the next couple of days with pricing from three different vendors on the cost I of the mechanical. Have drawing. We have the, the drawing. drawing in itself is a tool. We have a drawing fund. No, you don't. Right, so they complete documentation. Okay. Okay. Move on. Jennifer. Hi. Um, just a quick question, Clint, because I, I totally get having the documentation. Um, is there a potential alternative? If you know where you want to go from a design perspective, can we retroactively, once the installation's complete, retroactively have accurate drawings drawn for documentation purposes? And do you meet the same, do you, hit, do you meet the same requirement? Um, in that well, the drawings just specify all kinds of things. Tolerances, torque requirements, type of gas material you're going to use. All of that stuff's going to be on you. But if none, none, none of that's on what he has here right now, nothing. But I think it's spec'd out. Is what I'm, what I'm saying is, is there an alternative to from design, because you already essentially know the design, to look at post what it actually is? But what is. I've seen, no. Okay. And I've worked with drawings my whole life. And what I've seen is incomplete. It doesn't tell me much of anything. It's a, it's a concept. That's all it is. This, no, this is very important. It goes back to the investment pool. So we're talking Everything's about document. Yes. Well, to me, this is because we're talking about documentation. And then you're telling me to go call up the investment pool and put two thirds and one third in with nothing to go on besides a statement at a meeting. I don't feel comfortable. It, it was a motion and it should be in the minutes. That's your authorization. We don't have any more documentation to go you, on for what, that. Didn't you hear what she was saying? I did hear what I she was hear saying. Anything else that was going on. It's the closest thing we'll ever come. It's, it's better that way than us here coming up and saying, well, we'll just split it 50 50. What's our basis? We've got Have history. We no, 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 Releasing her from liability from this action. Right. Well, she's the treasurer. <laughs> There's not much we can do. She has custody of the money. She can put it in 15 different places if she wants to. I think that's the concern. That's not legal. No, no, she can. She legally can. I think that someone would have a problem with that legally at some point. No? You don't think that someone would draw an issue if she was moving money into whatever account she wanted? No. Because if you look at, as long as it's securitized, as long as it's an FDIC insured bank, if she wants to put it in 15 different banks, all of which are FDIC insured, and meet the standard for the state, she can do it. Okay, is your bank FDIC insured? My bank, of course. If she moved into your account, do you think she would have a legal issue at that point? Putting it into my account? Yes. yes. No, that's embezzlement. Right, so we're talking about moving something that might open her to liability in the future. If it's, okay, but if it's captioned with our EIN, I don't see the problem. I think that it would be wise to draft a statement that released her from liability from actually moving that money. Okay, fine. Develop a memo. He just said last one, not me, but last one. Governor Allison's request for information, documentation. Glenn's asking for documentation. We have no documentation, only on our verbal. So I think I understand. That that's that's the money trail. She was asking there when the money came in. And she has and she was part of the whole group that was there when the money came in and when they meld together the two groups. So that's more than what the three commissioners here know about what's going on. We don't know. 
we weren't there. We couldn't partition that amount out ourselves because we don't have the history for it. That's as far back as you can go on the whole situation. The records are all screwed up. You hardly say you leave it all in the way it is. No. Why? You, you have to separate water and sewer. Yeah, the RSA, RSA says water and sewer, water funds and sewer funds cannot be commingled with other funds. I understand that, but if we don't have documentation from way back when, legally, I just don't want Allison to get in trouble. That's all. No, she not get in trouble. It's the basis for what she's saying because the apartments in town, it was quite a chunk of change that came in with that for the sewer district. I was involved at the time. I was also involved with a lawyer who's putting liens on the property because we had no other recourse. Until, and that's why we've got to cut, talk with Kenny Shorty about combining the two. So we have some leverage about collecting funds to do what had to be done. But how come Tom Dumay consistently did say that it was better to just leave it as one? Well, you're going to earn the same amount of interest. It just makes it more discreet and easy to see. That's all. Clem likes to see the segregation. For his purposes, to time. purposes, we're a water and sewer district, so according to accounting purposes, it's a water and sewer account, it's a water and sewer district. But when the districts combined, they said water money stays with water, sewer money stays with sewer. But for the accountant, he doesn't care. It's a water and sewer district, it's, it's all together. For the commissioners, it matters because why should the water people be paying for sewer projects? So in now the past, what, so that it should be separated. Okay, but in the past, you, with the previous commissions, no money was ever taken out of that fund. No to money was projects? ever taken out of there. No. It's just the money that was put in. And years ago, interest was wonderful, and we were making a lot of money. Well, and then recently, not so much. But um, it's the original money that was put in there. So, so that was years ago. And to be held to a, uh, an agreement forged I don't know, 30, 40 years ago, perhaps it's time for the membership at an annual meeting to address that particular problem in some way that allows for some flexibility. Because that money sitting there not being used when water rates are going up and hurting young families, because you know I had an opportunity to talk to a lot of people in the last few weeks, and I really had some empathy for, and compassion for young families in particular who are holding up a lot, who could benefit from support from an account that is sitting idle. So maybe, I'm just raising a question for the future. This is not about us all making assumptions, even me making an assumption about accessing those funds, but I think it may be worth statutorily looking into it, that's all, and to see if we can change the way we manage that account and give ourselves no interest or low interest loans, which we pay back to ourselves. We Perhaps there's something, I know you can't at this time. No, we never can. Well, we no, Municipalities can't give out loans. We can take out loans, but we can't give out loans. So that money will sit there forever untouched. And Unless it's needed. And of no benefit. These kinds of strange circumstances around which you could tap into that fund seem totally impractical there, there is when you have practical needs. So I, you know, may, these are assumptions that we're making, and it may be worth getting past assumptions to to make it useful, but that's not right that's now. What we're sorry. To do now. I'm sorry. What? That's what we're trying to do now: make sure we know what's going on. money in the right direction, water or sewer. Is there anyone else doing other than the than is what she's telling us right now. Is there anyone other than Frank who has a question or comment? Okay, last one. So last year when we met with the auditor, we asked the question, what's that money for? And the auditor said that and your operating account. Well, we asked him, we General said, fund. how low could we go with that account? What's that for? And the discussion was the people who paid that money, you know, the, you know, the people who paid that money in. That money's for your water or sewer. And, and I understand <coughs> the, the concern, the two-thirds, one-third. But he said 
Try not, given, given your numbers, I'll look at your numbers, he looked at our numbers, and we asked him, how low should we go? And he said, you shouldn't go lower than 250. And your operating number is about 400. Operating so, number. Hmm? Well, there's $312,000. Plus your operating, your total number, when you look at your total number, it's around 400. So he said, don't go lower than 250. So when we put together the warrant articles, we said, well, we're going to do... 50 for the pump galley, but the other money we're going to raise from, um, you know, raising rates. But I don't understand why you folks aren't thinking about taking anything from there or if you haven't spoken to the auditor about that. Because that's what he reported to us at the meeting. Taking money from where? The, these monies that you say it's going to sit there forever. It's not, oh. he, the auditor says it's not supposed to sit there forever. I, you're talking about the knitted money. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It, 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 it said, come from the general fund. Well, if the general fund is totally spent, because that's what a budget does, you spend down to zero, it will have to come out of that account. Right. Yeah, okay. And he said it's fine to take it from there, but you're saying we don't have any money. So can you no. clarify? Help, help us yeah, clarify. It was, set, it was set up as an emergency account. But we it, was set, it was set up for something catastrophic. Right. If something major happened. Like the clarifier, because I I personally think that I needed to spend more attention on that. So if that clarifier goes down, where are you going to get all the money to repair it? So if you start spending that money on regular stuff every year, when something catastrophic or major happens, you will have no money. Agreed. That's what that was said. Ag that agreed, was but, the he, original but he said concept. that number should be closer to 250. Yes, but if something major happens, if that clarifier goes down, you're going to need that extra 50. You're going to need a heck of a lot more than that. The instruction so, makes No, he said so that 250 should, should be for things like that. The difference between 250 and the 3 right, whatever. Right, you're going to need more than 250 if something catastrophic happens, is what I'm trying to say. Their purpose was to keep building that so they got higher and higher. So if there's a major catastrophe, the district can handle it. If you start using that money and just keep 250 in there, something catastrophic happens, you have no money. We're probably going to look too good, though, to get help. And I so don't think that's that's that. Not that because of the cash, it's because yeah. of the rich people on the other side of Group 4. Which is why we need that income survey <laughs> in the <laughs> income district. <laughs> but all that's going to do is help us reduce the interest yeah. rate, won't it? We won't get grants out of it. All right, look. I think we've pretty much beaten well, the, the, the question is out there. What's your answer? What's the question? I, ha I asked the question. Okay. Are you going to use some of that 300 and whatever to bring it? Would you, would you entertain that? <clears throat> when we have engineering schematics Drawings. and a parts list, yes, we will. And that's what you're going to start working towards. Huh? And that's what you're going to start working towards. We keep asking for engineering companies to please give us the information. And yeah. Well, you have to authorize the money to be spent to do that. No, we, we already have the authorization to spend it for that. So do I have That's the, in the warrant. to go to right Pierce and tell them I want a full detailed drawing of that basement? Uh, I, will have already that done that. I will I have that to you. I sent, I, sent I, I sent that email to Ray Pierce. Already. Already. So I, I'm just asking, do we have the authorization? If I call right here, she sends it, Chris sends me a memorandum of understanding that states it's going to cost $8,000 to do that. That would You're, come out of the $50,000. Yes, it would. John Jackman even <laughs> said that we should play the 10% overs in this He whole said 5%, thing. not 10 yeah. I, 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 Well, it, it is. It's, it's 5%. There's going to be overage no matter what. We, we always used to use 10%, but that's us. Because it's a safety cushion. Anything else? At the last meeting, Jessica had okay, asked this is for the you last to come. One. Okay, Swear so to God, it's the okay. last one. She had asked for you to bring the rate study that the uh, North Carolina rate study that right. you said you weren't impressed with, but um, I'm not. well, she had requested that you do a presentation of that or bring it forward to show the rest of us. Could you do that at the next meeting, please? No. The next meeting is going to be rather specific. Do you have details on that? Maybe later in September, but... When is the next meeting? Sorry. 
Okay, now, the next meeting is, I'm saying, September 11th should be a Wednesday. It is. Or let your smartphones. It is. Should be. September 11th is the second Wednesday of September, and the fourth would be the 25th. Now, one subject we're going to have on September 11th is a review of the superintendent, his annual review. It will be non-public. Okay, September 11th, September 25th, put it on your calendars. Cheesy phone that does a lot of things. Yes, so sorry, you know, I made it clear that I wish to have my review public, correct? Yes, and the personnel policy says it has to be done in private. It has to be done non public. The RSA would trump any local policy. Well, unfortunately, our attorney has already deemed it that it has to be non public. I'll keep you on Jerry. That's where we. It's got, I'll get him a chance. It's going to cost you guys some money because you guys are a circus. I'm embarrassed. I would make a motion to adjourn. So I think you should. There we are. Thank you. Good night. See you September 11th.